Before we start creating actions in our albums controller, we need to create our albums DTO. So let's create a class inside the models folder and I'll call it albums DTO. So let's have a look at the albums class. So this is our entity and I'm just gonna copy all of these properties and place it in my albums DTO. And as we already know, we don't need these attributes in our DTO when we are returning the properties because the input is already validated and the database is created based on the entity itself. So let me just delete all these attributes. So let's have a look what properties we need. So we of course want the ID of the album, the title and the description. We also want the band ID because when we look in our albums controller, we are passing the band ID into the URI because that's how we know what band the album belongs to. But what about the band? Do we need that? And the answer is no. Now we could add it, but that would be redundant because the album is tied to the band already. That means that if the band has two or more albums, the result written from this API call would list multiple albums, however, it would list the same band for each of them, as each of the albums belongs to the same band. Again, nothing technically wrong with it, but it's just redundant. We already know what band each album belongs to, but, like I said, we still need to add the band ID to keep the relationship between band and album, but without the redundant properties of the band. So let's just delete this property. So that is our albums DTO. And now we can start using it. But before we do, let's also get ready to use our auto mapper. And we need to create a profile for our albums DTO and the albums class. So in the profiles, I'm going to add another class and I'll call it albums profile. To make this a profile, it needs to inherit from profile, which is in the auto mapper namespace. So let's have a look at our bands profile. So here we created a map between the band and band DTO and then for a member founded years ago we have a special mapping because we are concatenating the date and an extension method. Now for our albums we don't need that, we are not going to have any special mapping. So we can simply map the albums and the albums DTO. So let's create a constructor and let's create a map and the first one is going to be between the entities dot album and the DTO which is in models dot albums DTO and we also want it the other way around we also want the map between the album DTO and album so we could simply do the same thing but in reverse we would have create map models albums DTO and then entities album or we can use reverse map so it will use both mapping in both directions all right so we have our DTO ready we have our auto mapper profile ready for our albums and now let's start creating our actions in the albums controller and the first one I want is an action that will return all the albums for a specific band. So let's do that next. 